Salutations, my friends. Hello, how are you doing today? My name is Maria. This is Love Party Paint. And today I'm going to teach you how to mix the perfect peach with acrylic paint. But first, you are going to subscribe to my channel, Love Party Paint. And you're going to like this video and you're going to share it with all of your friends. over we can get to the canvas and I show you how to mix yourself some peach and then we're gonna paint peach it's gonna be super fun would you come join me you wanna come to my canvas and hang out with me yeah thanks for meeting me back at the canvas I am going to share with you what colors you are going to need to make the perfect peach shade. So we're going to work on that first and then we're going to paint us an emoji peach. What we're going to need is titanium white or whatever kind of white acrylic paint you use. Um, and then you're going to need a bright yellow. It can be cadmium yellow. That's a good one. Lemon yellow. Anything that's nice and bright. And then a red color. Um, I recommend using something more with um, a lighter red base, like almost magenta. I think magenta would work really well here. So the first step into making the perfect peach is one, have yourself a paintbrush or a palette knife, but I'm going to use paintbrush because I don't want to find my palette knife. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an orange shade. How are we going to do that, you ask? We're going to mix yellow and red together. Um, use equal amounts of yellow and red depending on how bright or dark you want it. We're just going to use equal amounts today. So then after we have our fantastic orange shade, we are going to mix one third and one third of red and the orange together. So we can just add our red into our orange since we already have it right here on our handy dandy palette. And we'll just take a little dollop of our red and mix it into our orange. So now like we have this kind of dark, um, it's a dark orange color. Okay, so then we will mix these colors thoroughly together. And then how you're going to get your shade light to a peach color is by adding titanium white. You can do equal amounts or what you can do is just keep adding the white until you get the desired tone of peach that you want and right there boop, boop, we have our perfect peach shade which is super easy to do anybody can make that and if we want to lighten it and keep lightening it then we'll just keep adding more white so now for the fun part we will paint ourselves a peach emoji or paint a peach emoji um, for that uh, a, like a little script liner brush, maybe a round, and um, just a flat brush, maybe a bigger flat to do the background color. I've already drawn my peach out. That's pretty easy to draw. I'm sure most of you can do that. So we're going to do a little ombre up to the top with our peach color just so we can use it and we don't waste it. Uh, the colors I'm using um, that are extra uh, are, and I'm using fluid colors, you can use any acrylic paint, um, is the golden carbon black. And then I'm going to be using craft paint. This is island blue. And then for the green part, I'm going to be using what color? Apple tart uh, green acrylic paint for the leaves. So let's start with our background first, shall we? You guys can paint a blue background on your own, can't you? Actually, 
actually going to be working from bottom to top ha, on the peach. And so we're going to have our darkest color at the bottom and then we're going to ombre it up to the light. Um, we'll start with our peach shade that we made. And if you want it darker, you can just do that by adding a little doop of red, just a little, just a little boop, just a little, just a little boop, just like that. I want mine a little bit darker, just a bit, kind of more red in it than um, yellow, just at the very bottom. So we'll start down here. That could even be a little bit darker, but that's okay. We'll just start with this. I have way too much paint on that, so careful of that. Um, you don't have to be too crazy about the line because we'll go over it with black. And um, we want to paint our strokes going up because we are going to be ombreing this into our other color. Okay, so then we're going to kind of add in our regular peach color into that one and we're just going to start lightening it a little bit. And working our way up the peach. So just a little bit of that and you can just like feather it. You can feather it like this by turning your brush that way and kind of feathering it in. And then what you'll do is you'll take your lighter shade, peach, and then you'll do the same thing. See, you can't really hardly see the transition at all. So then we're just gonna keep adding white to our peach. So just add a tiny amount of white. So I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll just Use a sort of mid-tone color here, bring that across, and then we can just feather it into the other color. See, and that gives a nice little transition. And then we'll just add some more white, and then we'll do the same thing. Just start working our way up. Turn your brush, feather it in. You can go back into that some of that darker color if you think you know got a little too light there. And then you're gonna take some more white, put that in. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna add even more white. Just kind of follow the contour of the a little peach. No pun intended. Actually, that was a pun intended. You can kind of bring it down a little bit too if you want. Um, and then go back into your darker shade, maybe, and just kind of blend that a little more. And then if you want to add extra highlights on there to make your peach nice and peach delicious. Um, just kind of put them right on top here, like this, in like a little half circle, kind of. And then we'll do another one on the other side for some more round, voluptuous looking peach action. And then if you don't think that's blended enough, just go back into your regular peach color. It's just a matter of blending it until you like what you have. And really adding that highlight is really going to like make it look nice and round. Okay, and now we're going to do the leaf part. We're going to use a little round pointed brush and our green paint and just paint in our leaves and our stem. Okay. So we have our stem filled in. Now we're gonna take our little liner brush, take some black paint, 
Maybe. 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 Carbon black paint. Just on the tip. Just on the tip. And we're gonna outline our little peach. This is the final painting. I hope you learn how to mix the perfect peach. I will see you next week for another video. And I will see you next week. And I will see you next week for another video. Bye. I gotta take some sex